Hey everyone, here we are at the Monster Energy Yamaha Factory MXGP Team Workshops in Holland. And today we're going to give you a brief overview of the factory bikes, the Yamaha YZ450FM that Gautier Paulan, Jeremy Siwa and Arno Tonus will be riding in this year's FIA Motocross World Championship MXGP. Let's start on the top end here. Now we get asked this quite a lot on the weekends. What is the orange device that sits on the front fenders of pretty much all of the factory teams. Well, it's a system by Get. You see all these little uh, dots here, they're LED lights. And actually, as the rider is lining up behind the gate, he can use that as a gauge to know when the optimum RPM range is to launch off of the gate. So in that respect, it's a kind of a, a launch control system. But it also brings with it a lot of data analysis as well that's useful for the mechanics throughout the weekend. Now, as we look down this side, all the trickery is inside the engine here. And obviously that is fully top secret. You don't see anything, but the stuff that you can see is pretty trick anyway. The tank, uh, the air filter here is standard, but the fuel tank here is carbon fiber. There are a lot more carbon fiber parts around the motorcycle, protecting engine cases and that kind of thing, as you can see. The exhaust system here from Akropovich, is a full titanium system and quite a sexy thing it is as well. Gautier Paulin uses quite a high bend handlebar here. He's obviously very, very tall. And his seat is very firm, but higher than the other two riders on his team as well. Jeremy Sewers tends to drop a few millimeter because he's obviously quite small and prefers to sit in behind the cockpit a little bit more. Foot pegs here are titanium, and there are, of course, a lot of titanium nuts and bolts throughout the motorcycle as well. And while we're down here, let's just look at the wheels. The hubs here are from Kite. They're a lighter material, and obviously they are the wheel of choice, but don't they look fantastic as well? Brakes. Nissan units run by the factory team, but the discs are from braking. And um, bigger on the front disc, but the back is a standard size, although Jeremy Siwa, on his bike, he will run a slightly smaller disc. He just finds that's more beneficial to him when it comes to braking into the corners. Over on this side of the motorcycle, you'll see on the exhaust pipe here, this is a fuel sensor. Of course, that helps the mechanics determine the best uh, mix of the fuel, whether it's running too lean or not, or whether they need to go one way or the other throughout the course of the weekend. And that also marries up with everything that we have from the GET system on the front as well in terms of data. The clutch on the Spectra Yamaha 450 YZ-FMs is hydraulic, whereas standard is still a cable clutch. And then, of course, the suspension. Factory KYBs on the front, and of course, uh, factory rear shock as well. Internally, you can expect this to be a lot different to what you would get on a standard bike. And of course, see three little alterations here that will control high speed and low speed damping and rebound. You get a lot more feedback from the suspension. And of course, you will also get uh, more setting options. Finally, down here, we've got the whole shot device. Of course, these things have been around now a long time, but of course, when the riders go to the line, the mechanics pull down, hit this button, holds the front end down. Of course, when the guys launch off the gate, it holds the suspension down just enough to stop the front end coming up and wheeling as they get out of the line. So they can charge down the start straight knowing that the front end is just at this angle the whole time. And that will then release itself when the rider brakes or hits a bump and then they're back to normal. Everything else looks pretty stock from the outside, but you can guarantee that these Yamahas are more than factory and more than worthy of doing a good job out on the racetrack. And hopefully, we'll be seeing these in action again in the very, very near future. Hope you've enjoyed the tour of the bike. See you at the racetracks very soon.